Good morning fellow woodworkers, where you come back to another video. So recently I received my Metabo DA330 Thickness Planner and I was using it extensively up until this point because it's so much fun. And I ran into a tiny little bit of trouble while dealing with the planner. Namely, you shouldn't plan anything that is less than one centimeter in thickness using this planner. Now, Usually, for my premium 10 secretaries over on stemmage.eu, I receive planks like these, okay, with a thickness of about 5 to 10 millimeters. And most of the time, they come with a very, very rough surface. And in normal case, I need to send the surface down in some way, but it takes ages. And I want to use my planner to get rid of this rough surface. And I actually figured out a way to plan thin pieces of wood. This also applies if you want to take a thicker piece of wood, okay, like two centimeters, and you want to plan it down to, let's say, eight centimeters instead of resawing. If, for example, if you're not familiar with what resawing is, you're going to basically um, resaw the thickness of a board. And many people don't want to do this on a table saw because it's, it's pretty um, experimental <laughs> and dangerous to do so, and they would like to use a thickness planner for that. I'm going to show you how you can plan thicker boards to a tiny thickness or just very thin boards to an even thinner thickness using the planner today. Now this right here is my Metabo DA330 thickness planner and it's a wonderful tool that works wonderfully. You can find a review video down there in the description. Check it out if you're interested in this tool. You should get yourself one of these. Very stable, very good work tool. Um, by the way, if you enjoy these kinds of videos, why not subscribe to the channel? It would support the channel a lot. Now all you really need for planning thin pieces of wood is, well, just a scrap piece of wood you have lying around. We are going to turn it into nice and easy to build chick. Now you see here, I still have a piece of MDF lying around, which I use most of the time as a fence because <laughs> for my jigsaw, I need a fence to get perfectly straight cuts. You can also find a link to the video down there in the description how to do that. Now, there are only two conditions for this chick to work out. Now, the first one is that it actually fits into your planner. I mean, we don't want it to be too wide, okay? Otherwise it wouldn't fit in, into the planner. Mine takes a, a width of like 30 centimeters, okay? In, into account as the maximum. So yeah, this right here is definitely going to fit into here. And the other condition, which is the most important one, is that your piece of stock actually lies completely flat on your jig. It's not supposed to hang over your jig, for example. This could be dangerous. This could break your workpiece. So make sure that the length of your jig is actually the same length as your workpiece or even longer. That's even better. And for extra security, what we are going to do with this jig is we are on the one hand going to use double-sided tape to basically tape our work to our jig. And the other thing is we are going to place a tiny little fence on the front line here. There's a reason for that, because your planner in a normal case is going to push your workpiece in this direction through, okay? Now just imagine that your double-sided ta tape isn't working as intended. And now you're going to have the situation that your workpiece is going to slide off your table in some way. Or since the direction of the planner is going to go in this direction is that it's going to shoot out to the front. To counteract that, we are just going to place a tiny little fence right, right here using nails or something inside of the chick and then nothing bad can, can really happen. It gets pushed against this chick, against this fence and then everything should work out in normal case, even without double-sided tape. This is just to double check. And this is literally it. All you have to do now is tape down your stock using double-sided tape and then we can let it run through the planner safely. That is good. Safety always first, kids. Really doesn't matter which side, both sides are pretty much ruined with those marks. So yeah, let us go with this one. And let's start with taking off one millimeter. Just look at that. <sighs> wonderful, absolutely wonderful. There are still a few marks, but we got it through safely. And now the other side, let's try it too. Do 
And do you know what the best thing about this method is? It just works nicely and it's very safe. And your workpiece won't break or anything. It's just, it's just absolutely wonderful and so easy to do with a bit of scrap wood. Honestly, the hardest part about it is getting it off your double-sided table without hurting your wood. God, wonderful. Looks absolutely perfect. Nice and thin piece. And this method is so safe and it works out just crazy good. And you should try it too. Always make sure to have a safe workspace, okay? Never try to do weird shit like putting too thin stock into a planner. Always make sure to use a jig, especially if you're new to the woodworking business like I am. And if you do enjoy these videos, then definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel for more woodworking and DIY content. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Ciao.